this particular research outcome almost appears too simple. Henceforth, we have to be careful we don't delve into what's called selection bias, where you start going, hey, something must be wrong, this seems too easy. I don't wanna go there, so I wanna start with a quote from the researcher themselves. To begin, this may be one of the safest and easiest approaches to halt disease progression and protect memory in Alzheimer's disease patients. I also want to bring to your attention this is a National Institute of Health funded study. Not a company funded study, but an NIH funded study. All right, with that in mind, in that particular quote, let's get right into the research as follows. Bodybuilding supplement may help stave off Alzheimer's. The secret to protecting your memory may be a staple of a bodybuilder's diet. Rush researchers recently discovered that a muscle building supplement called beta hydroxy beta methylbutyrate, also called HMB, it may help protect memory, reduce plaque, and ultimately help prevent the progression of Alzheimer's disease. Bring up that quote once again. This may be one of the safest and easiest approaches to halt disease progression and protect memory in Alzheimer's disease patients. I know the temptation is there. Well, this is too easy. Something must be wrong. But do keep in mind this is an animal model. So this has to be carried out to humans to validate. Previous studies indicate that a family of proteins known as neuro, neuro, uh, neurotrophic factors are drastically decreased in the brains of people with Alzheimer's disease and have been found to help in the survival and function of neurons, which are cells that receive and send messages from the body to the brain and vice versa. This is what gets really interesting because you don't think of uh, HMB passing the blood-brain barrier, but to proceed, quote, our study found that the oral consumption, HMB, enters into the brain to increase these beneficial proteins, restore neuronal connections, and improve memory and learning in mice with Alzheimer's-like pathologies such as plaques and tangles. All right, real fast, I'm gonna bring up a picture. Uh, pay close attention to the top corner there, the plaque area. Keep in mind, this was just 30 days of supplementation with HMB, and this was in transgenic mice. And look at the area reduction. That's amazing to proceed, or the difference in the area, I should say. The study findings indicate that HMB stimulates a nuclear hormone receptor called peroxisome, peroxisome proliferator activator receptor alpha within the brain that regulates the transport of fatty acids, which is a key to the success of HMB as a neuroprotective supplement. Now we're going to go into the full study. Again, the DOI citation will be there for you to explore on your own. HMB is a very safe supplement and even after long-term use, it does not exhibit any side effects. For muscle building, HMB is recommended at a dose of three grams per day, uh, three grams per day per adult. All right, depends on how many adults are taking it, I guess. However, this three grams should not be taken in one serving, but rather split into three servings throughout the day. Again, we're looking for people with Alzheimer's-like disease. Making it around one gram per serving per adult. It must be a group. If our mouse dose of HMB, five or 10 milligrams a kilogram body uh, weight per day is transited to humans, HMB at a dose of just a mere 400 to 800 milligrams per adult per day may be beneficial to control Alzheimer's disease related symptoms and pathology. That's what I'm trying to say. Selection bias. Something appears too easy. We tend to discount it going well with all the technology and it's, uh, you know, that, that's out there. How could something like this just get by us to proceed? Therefore, the dose at which HMB may improve memory and learning and lower the plaque burden in patients with Alzheimer's disease is much lower than the dose being used to support bodybuilding in humans. In a 12-week randomized double-blind placebo-controlled crossover study among 42 highly trained combat sport athletes, HMB treatment led to an increase in fat-free mass with simultaneous decrease in fat mass. HMB treatment also increased the aerobic and anaerobic capacity among combat sport athletics, therefore oral HMB should not exhibit toxicity in patients with Alzheimer's disease and mild cognitive impairment. Again, always consult with your medical professional. So, pretty interesting because you're looking at a bodybuilding supplement which uh, I became familiar with in, I think, 1994, um, you know, when we had the phosphogen and creatine and things like that, that has been literally under our nose, that does pass the blood brain barrier and seems to work really well with helping with the fatty acids in the brain and therefore help restore a lot of those areas of the brain that may need a little bit of help. This is amazing. And if you look at 400 to 800 milligrams a day, if that is translated accurately to humans, you know how inexpensive this is? 
it is really, really, really one of the, the least expensive, easiest to administer. Again, if the human studies carry out to the same level of, uh, um, how I should say, quality as the animal studies, it's amazing. For pennies a day, you can save tons and tons of people, a uh, multitude of individuals across the globe. Well, I should say, put it this way, make their life a little easier. All right, again, gratitude to the researchers. This is amazing. Again, an NIH funded study, not a corporate study or a business study or you know product study, NIH. Uh, I hope this gets a little bit more attention than it currently has because think of all the people that this can help. Again, I am humbled. Gratitude to the researchers. And once again, I'm humbled you watch as well. And look forward to seeing what you and I discover next week. All right, get you all next time. See that. Oh, if I see ink in my hand, well, I figured I'm changing ink in the printer. All right, guys, catch you in a bit. Bye.